I am just gonna sit back here quietly. You won't even know I'm here. This is my first time on the highway. <laughs> I have watched you both for so many hours of my life. It's such a great pleasure to get to chat with both of you. Yeah. Um, I will we'll, we'll jump off with a, with a question for Deborah Joe, which is, you and Kurtwood are as good as, if not better than ever, this this season of that 90s show as your characters. You know your character so well. How often when you're working with writers are you making suggestions and, and offering tweaks to make sure that Kitty continues to thrive? I think the biggest the biggest thing for me is Kitty is a master at being passive aggressive. She's just great at it. And so sometimes, not often, because it's such a different show. You know, the show itself is so different from 70s show. The, the time period is very different. Um, so the, so I just take what I'm given, and I, I'm given a lot of fun with this show. I, I get to do a lot of driving into furniture, and I get to do a lot of physical stuff that I didn't get to do that much of in 70s show. Um, Driving into furniture? Yeah, in the courthouse. Oh, that's right. Um, no, you haven't seen this episode yet. Um, anyway, um, I, I, not that much really. I, I don't, the writers are really excellent. And, and because it's a different time, there are no rules, you know? So uh, that's kind of the way it is. Once in a while, I'll go and say, we didn't say that in the 90s um, because they're younger. Everybody is younger than Kurtwood and I, like everybody. Like the entire world is younger than Kurtwood and I. Well, especially Kurtwood. Oh. Especially Kurtwood, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm right there with you. Um, anyway, very little do I say to the yeah. writers to answer your question. Yeah, the writers <laughs> have spent an awful lot of time looking at our characters from the 70s yeah. before they even started here. and. And um, you know they keep a close watch on us. They, they, they you know they can see the changes in us uh, as people and um, um, and, and in, incorporate that. Not necessarily things we talk about or anything, but you know just in terms of how old we are uh, and uh, all that sort of business. And uh, you know they incorporate that into the show. So I I don't uh, you know. If I have a question about a line, it has more to do with whether uh, it's funny or not, or whether it's the right punchline, or you know that kind of stuff. But not really about character. Yeah, uh, I. Speaking of which, Kurtwood, I really liked watching Red have a new hobby this season. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's. I don't know if I'd call Model Train's character development necessarily, but it was nice to see a different side. How yeah. is it to continue? expanding on who red is oh <laughs> that's you know that's hard for me uh uh it it is actually difficult for me to answer because it's sort of like saying um um expand on yourself uh you know i i don't know a, a lot of the character is sort of based on my stepfather I mean, not the writing, of course, but the way in which I uh, play the character. And, uh, you know, he was a man who um, was trying to prepare you, and I think Red, Red this was the basis of the problem with, with Red and Eric, and that is that uh, Red was trying to prepare Eric for a world that he Red grew up in, as opposed to the world that Eric is growing up in, and it's the same thing with the parents, uh, with the father-son relationship in Dead Poet Society. You know, they, you know, trying to force your life, the life that you've had, onto somebody who's growing up in a different time and a different place. Um, so that burden is kind of gone, you know, which makes life a little easier for Red. He doesn't feel like he's always needing to uh, tell Eric what to do. Um, and I think the uh, discovery of the trains is is great because it's uh, it's really a softer side and um, and and it's and it's fun to do as well. That is great. 
Uh, I think that's all I've got for you, but it's it's so nice to see you both. Uh, thank you thank for doing you. this. Sure, thanks, thank Alan. you. All right. Hey, Foot, want to go on a little trip? Sure, Red. I just hope it's up someone's ass. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>